Welcome to episode four. Today we're going to take you on a little journey that we call slab selecting. <laughs> we're going to be looking at tile selections, countertop material selections. Over at the house, things are moving along. We have fabricators and vendors working on top of each other. We've got tile going in. Not literally. Countertops going in. All of the things are happening on the inside and the outside. We are at the Mart today in downtown Chicago, and we are with Deborah at one of our favorite stores, Ann Sachs, and we are selecting tile for Shelter for the Storms. And I'm here to approve the selections that we're making. <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> so in our family room, we have like a very modern fireplace, and we're cladding it in stone, and I really wanted to create this sort of whole element from floor to ceiling of dark, and then the rest of the room being like white on white on white. So I came in one day and I saw this tile and it looked like concrete and I thought it was so cool. I kind of fell in love with the darker colors. I love like the pitted texture of it because I think it makes it really rich. And this is the one that we landed on. So we're actually gonna be stacking this on the whole fireplace facade. And so you'll see these linear lines going kind of like from the mantle up to the ceiling. This is a newer collection from Martin Lawrence Billiard, and this is his concrete terrazzo collection. Five different colors, and then you could see we do our, all of our boards in different patterns, patterns. yeah, and, and placement too. I love this pattern because I see like a lot of color in here because it's the terrazzo, and so it feels like I would have a lot of flexibility with my cabinet color. And it's easy to clean. Terrazzo's easy to clean and care for, right? Does it self-clean? Like, does it, like if there's dirt on the floor, does it like absorb the dirt? No, yes, that will happen if you don't seal it. So seal your Good stone questions. in terrazzo. He's so silly, Josh is so silly. We try and use the Savoy collection on probably every job because there's so much variety in it and it's super cost effective and it always looks beautiful. And I've been using Savoy for years and I just, it ne I never grow weary of it. <laughs> so I think it's And amazing. it just sounds cool. It does sound Savoy. cool. Savoy. It's perfect. It's very exciting to work with like our vendors, like Ann Sachs, figuring out what kind of colors we need to bring in together and forming our own like pattern. Josh, do you like this? What I like most about designing <laughs> is when the moment hits and it feels like it's magic. It does feel like magic. <laughs> And it's actually got like these like blushy bubbles on it that I like because it's like a warmer reflective mirror instead of, you know, like a cooler gray. We're gonna put sconces on it. So we thought, do we run it vertically? Do we want it to go this way? Or do we want it to go this way? That could be like a crazy belt buckle. It could be a crazy <laughs> belt buckle. What's up, y'all? <laughs> are here at Terrazzo and Marble in Wheeling, Illinois. We're starting our hunt for countertop materials. And this is Aurelia, and she's Hi, gonna nice be helping us today. We've been in business for about 80 years. We not only have a few locations in the Midwest, we ship to all over the United States. We have stones that we like to curate specifically for high-end designers and uh, we're excited to take you guys along today. So for me, this is like almost better than dress shopping. I love, 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 love countertops. Black-based things that are honed, we love them. We love the look of them, but they show like fingerprints, greasy fingerprints all and all over. those things. Find your sample and try all those little yeah. things out. Make sure you're gonna like the way that they wear. Let it yeah. be natural stone, enjoy yeah. it, love it. Let it get a little yeah. frisky. It's patinaed. I, I kind of like the rust in that. Yeah. This is a good contender, I think, for a basement bar, too. Okay. This is cool. Yeah, it feels like a very intense white cobra. Yeah. I love that. Okay. 
It's got that like peachy color. It feels feminine and pretty. Thinking for the powder room, like a waterfall oh, with yeah. like going up the wall. Powder rooms are small, but they're mighty. Especially this powder room will be bold, dynamic, and a little bit of spice. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a floating vanity. And then up the left side of the wall, we're gonna have a fluted stone detail. And then the right side, we'll have a wood panel to contrast it and bring in some of the warmth. It's gonna be a wow factor for sure. We're using this on a client's house, so I can't have it, but that's okay. <laughs> the sacrifices I have to make as a designer. Yeah. <laughs> and look at that. Yep, that's a good sample. This is perfect. Mm -hmm. Let's just say, people have budgets. Everybody has a budget. Yes. And Amy Storm has a budget too. Yeah. As much as I don't like the B word, I feel like it's a swear word, but it's my job. Yeah. I will find something amazing and, and it will be amazing. Yeah. I like that it's black and white without being black and white. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And I'm kind of madly in love with it. It has all the things that I like. And it's got black, gray, tan, a little bit of gold, the creamy white. <laughs> we really rely on multiple trusted vendors to provide us with a wide variety of products so we can pick and choose the things that are perfect for each space. Now we're gonna take you to Kalia Stone where we're gonna select the other half of our slabs. And we are continuing our search for some amazing stones for our home. And this is Megan. She's gonna be walking around with us today. We first opened back in 2018 in a very traditional industry and we started with four colors and now we are up to 350. And the way that we like to look at how we're helping source our materials is asking designers what they are looking for. Yeah. And that is how we've curated our inventory where Amy reaches out for a project and she needs some unicorn pink purple <laughs> stone. And that's where I go and I try to find it around the world. Well, we're gonna walk around and look at some of the beautiful slabs that you guys have. And we're going through Mother Nature's gallery right now. Right. Yeah. I love it so much. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. <laughs> See this in Italy for 2,000 years and it always looks amazing. on a project. Yes, yeah. We used this on Bright Beginnings and it was amazing. I almost want to say it's like a Viola meets a Monet. Look at the dark green, green dark in here, green green here and the like black and, and purple. Kind of like have that beautiful 45 degree uh -huh. you know, vein style. So this is actually one of the first stones that Kalia brought in, and it's been a staple ever since. Yeah. So this is honed, wow. and then this other guy's polished. Oh, okay. Wow, what a difference, huh? The yeah, rust what a light becomes robust. So these are the two colors that I'm mixing together to form the cabinets. And so really, no matter where I put it, I think it looks pretty amazing. This is probably my top contender right now, but we're keeping, keeping our doors open. We are still at Kalia and we are walking down the aisles and look who we found, Kristen, the owner and founder of Kalia Stones. What makes us so amazing is working with incredible designers such as yourself and letting us be a part of the journey of all those hashtags that you have. Um, we're really excited at every opportunity to work on new projects, current projects, all over the country, which has been really fun. Yeah, we have no, like, Add to cart. Add to cart, yeah. No. Oh, it's budget not? friendly. No. Oh, it's budget friendly. I love some budget friendly. You know, this is budget, budget, budget friendly. friendly. This row this is a budget friendly row. Okay, well, this feels like a budget friendly, amazing option for the basement, doesn't it? Because it's oh, got like all perfect. the colors and super durable. Yeah, you can beat this up. The kids can have all those massive parties. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> All right, stay tuned for episode five, and if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do it. There are so many things for us to tell you about. So many things. We keep saying that, but there are, there's so many things. 
stay tuned.